Could you be everyone? Yeah. Thank you all so much for coming. Great crowd this evening to uh, witness our third annual presentation of the Lord's Passion done by our young people. And I hope that as we uh, sit on the precipice of Holy Week, that this uh, presentation of the Passion will help you help inaugurate a prayerful and powerful uh, celebration of Holy Week for each and every one of you. Of course, we have a lot going on next week to do just that. And you can join us for uh, some, if not all, of those liturgies. Um, as you can tell by the program, there's lots of people involved in this uh, performance, in this presentation. Um, too many people to, to, to thank by name, but there are actors, obviously, and putting a lot of time rehearsing. The parents who brought the kids here for that, sometimes, many times, sitting through the rehearsals with them. Uh, people who made costumes and props. Uh, we have narrators and musicians and uh, people who work behind the scenes. We have stage hands, or I don't know what you call key grips, or whatever else. I don't know what the formal term is, but. Uh, lots of folks, young and old, who uh, came together and did a lot of hard work to put this, make this possible for us. And also, those who helped prepare the reception, we're going to enjoy afterwards in the hall. So those who made uh, food and helped set up, and we appreciate them all very much. Um, one, uh, one note with the, with the performance itself, we ask that you do not applaud at the end. Uh, the kids are going to be out on the papers in front of the church, so you can greet them and congratulate them on your way out. And we'll all, like I said, gather in the hall. Um, afterwards to enjoy some refreshments. So if you've had dinner, there'll be dessert type stuff. If you haven't, there'll be some, you know, kind of snacks and appetizers to enjoy as well. Um, so again, thank you all very much for coming, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you on the other side.
cross. This cross, this chunk of tree, is what my father chose for me. The crosses you must bear are largely products of your daily life. And yet my father chose them too for you. You see them from his hands. Take heart, my other self. I will not let your burdens grow one ounce too heavy for your strength. Traffic or the store, each time I feed the hungry, 
dwell in the naked, teach the ignorant, or lead my hand in any way, it matters not to wound. My name is Simon, and the kindness I extend to them, I rarely give to you. The sixth station, Veronica writes the face of Jesus. Can you be brave enough, my own self, to wipe my bloody face? Where is my face, you ask? At home, whenever eyes fill up with tears, at work, when tensions rise, on playgrounds, in the slums, the courts, the hospitals, the jails, wherever suffering exists, my face is there. And there I look for you to wipe away my blood and tears. Those who intrude on my privacy, 
then help it curve my tongue. May gentleness become my cloak. Lord, make me kind like you. In my illustration, Jesus falls to the third time. Completely drain of strength, my lie collapsed upon the cobblestones. My body cannot move, no blows, no kicks can rouse it up. And yet my will is mine, and so is yours. So this is my other self. Your body may be broken, but no force on earth, and none in hell can take away your will. Your will is yours. Behold my other self, the poorest king who ever lived. Before my creatures I stand straight. The cross, my deathbed, even this is not my own. Yet, who has ever been so rich? Possessing nothing, I own all. My father's love. If you too would own everything, be not solicitous about your food, your clothes, your life. My Lord, I offer you my all. Whatever I possess, and more, myself. Detach me from the craving for prestige, position, wealth. Root out of me all traits of envy of my name. from the vice of pride, my longing to exalt myself and lead me to the lowest place. I may be poor in spirit, Lord, so that I can be rich in you. The eleventh station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. Can you imagine what a crucifixion is? My executioners stretch my arms. They hold my hand and wrist against the wood and press the nail until it stabs my flesh. Then, with one heavy hammer smash, they drive it through. And pain bursts like a bomb of fire in my brain. They seize the other arm, and agony again explodes. Then raising up my knees so that my feet are flat against the wood, they hammer them fast too.
becomes a pulpit now. Forgive them, Father. You will be with me in paradise. There is your mother. There, your son. I thirst. It is complete. To speak, I have to raise myself by pressing on my wrists and feet. And every move engulfs me in new ways of agony. And then, when I have borne enough, I have emptied my humanity. I let my mortal life depart. My Jesus, God, what can I say or do? I offer you my death with all its pain, accepting now the time and kind of death in store for me. Not by a single person would I lengthen my life's span. I offer you my death for all for my own sins and for those of all humanity. My God. My God, forsake us not. We know not what we do. The thirteenth station. Jesus is taking down the cross. The sacrifice is done. Yes, my mass is complete, but not my mother's, and not yours by other self. My mother still must cradle in her arms the lifeless body of the son she bore. You too must part from those you love, and grief will come to you. Your bereavements think of this. A multitude of souls were saved by Mary sharing in my Calvary. Your grief can also be the price of souls. I beg you, Lord, help me accept the pardons that must come. From friends who go away, my children leaving home, and most of all, my dear ones. When you shall call them to yourself, then give me grace to say, as it has pleased you, Lord, to take them home, I bow to your most holy will. And if by just one word I might restore their lives against your will, I would not speak. Grant them eternal joy. The 14th station. Jesus is laid in the tomb. So ends my mortal life. Now another life begins for Mary and for Madeline, for Peter and for John and you. My life's work is done. 
I work within and through my church must now commence. I look to you, my other self, day in, day out, from this time forth, be my apostle, victim, saint.
I am with you there. Go now. Take up your cross. And with your life, complete your way. Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Were you there? Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Sometimes it causes me to tremble, 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 tremble. tremble. Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Were you there? Were you there? When they nailed him to the tree. Were you there? Were you there when they nailed him to the tree? Were you there? Sometimes it causes me to tremble, 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 tremble. Were you there when they nailed him to the tree? Sometimes it causes me to tremble, 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 tremble. tremble. Were you there when the sun refused to shine? Were you there? When they laid him in the tomb, were you there? Were you there when they laid him in the tomb? Were you there? Sometimes it causes me. To tremble, 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 tremble. Were you there when they laid him in?